Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed investors, and those of you who accidentally wandered in here looking for the seminar on underwater basket weaving, I bid you welcome. Today, we embark on a journey not just through the pages of a book, but through the nooks and crannies of financial wisdom. I bring before you the essence of Benjamin Graham's magnum opus, The Intelligent Investor, refurbished and rejuvenated with contemporary annotations by Jason Zweig. And no, this is not your usual get-rich-quick manual, but a tome of timeless strategies for prudent investment. One, the investor's manifesto, investing versus speculating. First on our list, let's distinguish the investor from the speculator. The investor plays the long game, committed to due diligence and calculative patience, whereas the speculator gambles on the market's mood swings. Graham compels us to look in the mirror and ask ourselves, am I an investor or just a glorified gambler with fancier charts? Always remember, if you're trying to ride the wave of the market's fluctuations for quick gains, you're in the speculation business, my friend. Two, the parable of Mr. Market. Graham introduces us to a bipolar fellow named Mr. Market. Imagine him as that annoying neighbor who knocks on your door every day, offering to buy your shares at wildly fluctuating prices depending on his mood. Some days he's euphoric. Some days he's as dismal as a cat in a rainstorm. Do you sell your solid stocks because Mr. Market is having a bad hair day? An intelligent investor smiles, shuts the door gently, and goes about his business because he knows value is not the same as price. 3. The Defensive Investor and the Enterprising Investor Our sage separates investors into two camps, the defensive, passive, and the enterprising, active. The defensive ones look for safety and are content with adequate returns. They stick to index funds or high-grade bonds like their superglue. Then there are the enterprising ones, financial explorers in search of hidden treasures, armed with research and ready for detective work in the stock market's alleyways. Know which camp you pitch your tent in, but straddle the line wisely, lest you fall into the pit of overconfidence. Four, the margin of safety, your financial seatbelt. Margin of safety is not just the title of Graham's favorite song. It's the core of your investing strategy. It's like buying a $10 bill for $5. You're safeguarding yourself against errors, unforeseen events, and the madness of the market. Every investment should have a buffer. It works as a seatbelt, guarding you against the fickle fancies of the financial freeway. Ignore it, and you might as well be riding a unicycle on a tightrope over Niagara Falls, without a net. Five, the investor's toolbox, fundamental analysis. Gear up, because according to Graham, you're not just investing in stocks, you're buying a piece of a business. This requires fundamental analysis, the shovel and pickaxe in your investor's toolbox. Peek behind the price tags, examine earnings, dividends, and the company's overall stability. It's like going on a date. You don't propose after one glance. You want to know what you're getting into. Are they financially stable? Do they have a good history? Do their actions match their words? Swipe left on superficial attractiveness. Look for fundamental beauty. Six. Inflation and the investor. So you think you've got a good deal on a bond with a nice little interest rate, do you? Well, Graham's got news for you. Inflation is the monster under your financial bed. It nibbles away at the purchasing power of your returns while you sleep. Ignore it, and you may wake up to a nightmare where your safe investments are as deflated as the balloons from last year's birthday bash. Hedge against the silent assassin of inflation, or your portfolio might just shrink like a wool sweater in the wash. Seven, the investor and market fluctuations. The market goes up and down more often than a yo-yo champion on a sugar rush. But Graham's cool cats aren't phased by the dizzying spectacle. They use fluctuating markets like a master sailor uses the wind, tacking and jibing to harness the market's frenzy. When prices fall and others are selling in panic, the smart money looks for opportunities to buy. Conversely, when the market is riding high on euphoria, it might be a good time to trim the sales and secure profits. Eight, the concept of Mr. Conservative, portfolio policy for the enterprising investor. Remember our friend Mr. Conservative? No, he's not the guy who wears a bow tie to a beach party. He's Graham's ideal for the enterprising investor who wants to actively manage his portfolio without losing his shirt. Mr. Conservative doesn't chase after hot stocks. 
he seeks out the unloved, the underpriced, the ugly ducklings that may one day become swans. He's partial to a bargain and loves a good sale. This disciplined approach is like dating the quiet one at the party who turns out to be the love of your life. Nine, investor schizophrenia, performance versus results. Investors, Graham warns us, often suffer from a sort of financial schizophrenia. We worry about our portfolio's performance compared to others. Are we winning? Are we losing? But Graham, with his calm demeanor, suggests looking at results instead. Sure, you may not be the hare sprinting ahead, but remember the moral of our old tortoise friend. Slow and steady wins the race. Steady gains that meet your financial goals should be the target, not outscoring the hedge fund hotshots on Wall Street. 10. The Zen of Investing, Emotional Discipline Last but certainly not least, Graham preaches the Zen of Investing, Emotional Discipline. The stock market is more bipolar than your ex. It's a psychological battleground where fear and greed duke it out. Graham hands us the shield of stoicism and the sword of rationality. When others are dizzy with greed, be cautious. When they are quivering with fear, be courageous. It takes guts to go against the grain but that's often where the golden grains are found. So, there you have it, the Ten Commandments from the Gospel according to Ben Graham, delivered with a touch of contemporary flair by Jason Zweig. Internalize them, and you could become the enlightened investor who moves with grace through the tumultuous tides of the market, smiling with the serenity of one who has seen the light, or at least the bottom line. Now, you don't have to go home and meditate on these insights right away. But perhaps before you make your next trade, consider what Graham might say. Would he nod in sage approval, or would he give you that disappointed teacher look? My friends, invest intelligently, invest patiently, and may your portfolios be as bountiful as a buffet at a billionaire's banquet. Thank you.